2017 NBA Dunk Contest Highlights, Robinson wins, but we all lose for watching. Glenn Robinson may be a more well-known player than his son, but Glenn Robinson 3 did something his father could never do, win the 2017 Slam Dunk Contest. With Aaron Gordon struggling in the first round, Robinson quickly made his mark on the event with a vertically challenged dunk. Creating anticipation by bringing out two people, Robinson first had his assistants stand right next to each other, but then he upped the ante by having one go on the one's shoulders. This proved to not be difficult for Robinson as he easily skied over the mini human tower. Robinson struggled with his second attempt, which ended up being a dab dunk. The dunk itself was well done but his repeated misattempts penalized him as he only got a 41. Battling Phoenix Suns rookie Derek Jones Jr. in the finals, Robinson brought out all-star teammate Paul George for his third dunk, which was awarded a 44. Robinson, though, closed the contest out in style. Bringing George back out and two other assistants, Robinson did an impressive reverse two-handed jam after jumping over the trio. Robinson's final dunk received a 50 and he went on become the first pacer to prevail in the dunk contest since 2004, when Fred Jones won. Robinson was not favored to win the contest in the least bit but he used this underdog status to fuel his award-winning performance. I've been an underdog all my life, all my career, Robinson said. This is just the beginning for me. Takeaways How the mighty have fallen, heavily favored to win the dunk contest, Gordon failed miserably. He repeatedly missed dunks and for his second dunk, Gordon couldn't even complete it, missing all of his attempts. While that was pretty bad, Gordon's very first dunk was just a horrible example of product placement. Using a drone from Intel, Gordon got an assist from the hovering machine to throw down a between the legs dunk. But while the pageantry of the dunk was great, the theme song from Star Wars played throughout his attempts, Gordon missed the slam three times. He then completed a slightly modified version but the hype surrounding the dunk had already dissipated so Gordon scored just a 38. Not the way you would expect Gordon, who was sensational in last year's contest, to go out. More misses than makes, Gordon apparently set a theme for the event as all of the contestants missed attempts, which totally took the energy out of the building. Even the second place finisher, Jones Jr. missed all of his attempts in his first attempt in the finals. Best Dunk Despite that flub, Jones Jr. did have the best dunk of the contest. Catching a pass off the side of the backboard from his son's teammate Devin Booker, Jones Jr. brought the ball between his legs and then viciously slammed it through the basket. Stick to the All-Star game Though Andre Jordan has said for years that he will only participate in the dunk contest if he was an all-star. Well after the performance he had in this year's contest, perhaps Jordan should just stick to the actual game, especially since dunking over DJ Kale is not a major key to victory. Unremarkable, it may not have been the worst one of all time but as Curb Your Enthusiasm's Larry David would say. This year's dunk contest was pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Much of that is because Gordon simply couldn't dunk, which robbed us of the promise of yet another jaw-dropping performance. Three of Robinson's dunks were good though, and Jones Jr.'s off the backboard dunk was impressive. But overall, this year's dunk contest will be more forgotten than remembered.